How's it going guys? Nintendo enthusiast here. Today we're going to be checking out Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. This is really exciting because you were not able to play this legendary title outside of Xbox and PC. I'm glad to see it's finally making it to another platform starting with the Nintendo Switch and ahead of the full remake on PS5 that I'm sure will make it to other platforms after its timed exclusivity and whatnot. But today we're talking about the OG version, Knights of the Old Republic, that released in 2003 on the original Xbox. How does it hold up on Switch? Let's jump on into it. So the Xbox version you're seeing is actually the original Xbox game, but it is in backwards compatibility mode on Xbox Series X. Yes, you can still put that old KOTOR disc into your Series X and it will play the game, which I thought was really awesome. But one thing that did not age great or get updated in the Xbox version is the full screen mode. There's no widescreen mode at all, but thankfully now on Nintendo Switch, it is fully in widescreen for the first time on console, which is awesome. Now, aside from getting widescreen support, which honestly I really appreciate, this new Switch version also features better character models over the original Xbox version, especially on the clothing of the characters. As you can see right here, the character itself I think looks better on Switch, but the clothing specifically on these characters, the textures are way more detailed and not as blurry as the Xbox version which is really awesome. I did not expect that type of upgrade in this game because it is just called KOTOR. It's not called KOTOR Remastered or Definitive Edition. In many ways, this is just a simple port job of the original game, putting it in HD and whatnot, but I'm glad to see that they actually went in and enhanced some of the textures of the original game. I did notice that the coloring was a bit different than the original Xbox version on Switch. It's not very different. I think the Xbox version just has slightly higher contrast overall, which can lead to some darker colors and maybe more vibrant colors in certain sections, but ultimately they look very similar. Now, unfortunately, the Switch version, I did experience some frame rate issues. This game is aiming for 60 FPS and it seems to hit from 50 to 60 FPS for the most part, but whenever there is explosions or lots of stuff going on in the environments, I did notice that the frame rate could get hit quite significantly, which at the end of the day, isn't that big of a deal to me, but if you're a frame rate nut, then it might get to you. It looks like Bloom has been taken out of the Switch version completely. As you can see right here, the lighting behind the character isn't really shining past him like it is in the Xbox version. It doesn't make a huge difference in my opinion, but it is something that I wanted to note. Now my main complaint with the Switch version is this massive block that shows up on the screen anytime there's words you need to read. This block is way bigger than it needs to be and it was not even present in the original Xbox version or on PC. I'm not sure why they decided to do this in the Switch version, but I really hope they update it and just make it a lot smaller because it's taking up so much of the screen and it's especially annoying during combat. Aside from these mostly positive changes, this is still the core experience of Knights of the Old Republic with the iconic story and characters that you already know. I think it's great having this game portably on Nintendo Switch. I'm excited to play through the whole thing on my Switch and there's not much else to say so I'll just let the rest of the graphics comparison play out and you can let me know what you think down in the comments section below. If you enjoy graphics comparisons or reviews and previews that kind of thing maybe consider hitting that subscribe button and if you enjoyed this video hit that thumbs up. If you didn't hit that thumbs down. Thanks a lot for watching and I will talk to you guys later. See you.